Happy Monday, guys. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and it's day four with the Samsung Galaxy Note. I'm using this device. If you haven't seen the content, it's my primary device, thanks to you voting on this for 30 days. So I'm in day four out of 30 days. I used it over the weekend, started on Friday, and so it was kind of cool because it was you know, the first real time that I'd had to use this as my personal device, and it combined with you know, some time off, so I got some, you know, a really good idea as to what the device was like. First of all, I'll talk about the size a little bit. I still, you know, four days in, I'm not used to the size. It's a big device. And I'm noticing it more and more in keyboard stuff. And I'm trying to bring up a keyboard here so you can take a look. And it's not going to be as evident here on the actual display that you're seeing on camera. But you take a look at the keyboard, for example, and I've been using the ice cream sandwich uh, keyboard. But the screen is so large that I find that my typing is actually slowed down. And now maybe it'll pick back up. Maybe I'm just getting used to it uh, again. But I found that the typing is slowed down because of the phone, the display is so big that I'm continuously moving across the screen. So when I go from like an M to a W, you know, you have a 3.5 inch display or a four inch display, it's pretty easy to kind of keep your fingers in the same spot and move around. With this, I'm constantly doing like this, if that makes sense. You know, where I'm going across the screen, having to reach, and that adds time to a message. So when you're doing a three or four sentence text message, it does take some added time. So I'm noticing that, you know, and it's one of those things, it's too small to be a tablet, so you can't put it down on the, on the desk like you could with an iPad or the Galaxy Tab put it down on the desk and type face down like you would with a typical computer keyboard, but it's too big to be a typical phone where you know, you'd hold it in your hand like this and just type and kind of keep your fingers uh, in the same spot. That's the big one for me because I, you know, I do some text messaging, but I do a lot of email uh, on my device. I get two, 300 emails a day, and so I'm constantly emailing, responding, and I find that it's a little bit hard, at least right now, uh, for me to write on. So that's the big thing I saw over the weekend, not just, you know, really more with text messages over the weekend, but now I'm starting to see it as we get back into the work week. I'm starting to see it with uh, with emails as well. One thing I do like though, you know, when it comes to YouTube or uh, internet browsing, love the display. And I said this in the review, but especially, you know, in my personal life, just doing YouTube videos or taking a picture, for example, and looking at a picture in the gallery and zoom, pinch to zooming, I've been really pleased with the size of the screen. So it's nice, you know, I have a big, big display where I can kind of share it with people and say, hey, take a look at this video or take a look at this picture and I can zoom in and uh, you know you can get a nice clear image. Love the HD display, really impressed with the picture quality on this. You know, the, the camera's been pretty good too. I took some sample shots uh, over the weekend and I was a little dreary and kind of cloudy here, but uh, I did take some sample shots and was pretty impressed with it. Where I'm seeing, you know, where I'm missing some of the other platforms, uh, for me, uh, particularly uh, you know iOS in terms of music, I'm missing the music platform that came from iOS. You know, I was a big iTunes and not necessarily uh, what well, was by choice, but you know, I've been an iTunes fan for the past 10 or 12 years. I started on iTunes 10 or 12 years ago, so I just have had a natural progression with the iTunes ecosystem, so it's just easier for me to continue that ecosystem. I mean, I've got a ton built up, you know, whereas you may have a ton built up in the Android ecosystem with apps. I know if you look at Taylor's content, he has a lot of Android apps built up and a lot of stuff in the Android ecosystem. Well, I have a lot of stuff kind of, yeah, I have, I have my mark in the iOS ecosystem, if you will, you know, so I've got a lot of money invested in the iOS ecosystem in terms of music and in terms of content. So for me, that's a little bit hard. You know, I use Google Music uh, and I've kind of played around with Spotify and some of the other streaming stuff. I'm not a huge fan of streaming. Hopefully in the next 30 days or 25 days, 26 days, um, I'll get you know more used to streaming music. I don't care for it. And the problem that I see with it is, at least with Charlotte and some of these bigger cities, and you know, even small cities as well, I see a lot of coverage holes. You know, we're not perfect when it comes to coverage. This is 2012, but I'm still having some coverage issues. And when you do get those coverage issues, unless the music is offline, it either skips or stops playing. And there's a plenty of time where I travel. I mean, I fly 100,000 miles a year for work. So there's time where I'm offline in an airplane mode, and it's just harder to create a playlist to me when it's online, when you're streaming it, as opposed to when you already own the music and it's just sitting in an iPod-like uh, form factor. So it's all about ease of use to me. Maybe you find streaming music easier, but you know, I'm hoping that maybe I'll make that transition in my mind where I can kind of move and find streaming music a little bit easier. So I'm kind of missing that right now. Uh, some other things I noticed this weekend, this is a great conversation piece. I will say seven people over the course of the weekend came up to me, seven different people and were like, is that a phone or is that a tablet? What is it you're using up against your ear? So I made for a good conversation and hey, you know, I'm all about making some new friends from time to time. So I was at restaurants with some friends and people would come up and be like, what in the world are you holding up against your ear? And I'm like, Galaxy Note, obviously. Now, I, mean, I mentioned you know, that it was coming to AT&T uh, in the next couple of weeks. And uh, we had a good conversation. I had a good conversation with all seven of them. Uh, as a result, so it's a big device. I'm still feeling the size. Uh, call quality has been very good. I have noticed I fluctuate a little bit between 3G and HSPA Plus on AT&T. Otherwise, the battery life has been killer on this phone. I, you know, I used it pretty heavily on Saturday. I had a lot of phone calls, uh, caught up with some family, sent a lot of text messages. 
uh, was on the internet, was do, uh, doing some YouTube stuff, and it made it through the day. So this 2500 milliamp hour battery does take some time to charge, I have noticed that. So I usually charge it overnight when I'm asleep, but uh, it does take time to charge, but I've been pretty impressed. Uh, with the battery life that it has made it through a full day. So I mean, I pulled this off the charger at seven, about 7.15 this morning, if I remember right, as I was making coffee. Yes, so 7.15, you're kind of seeing my real life thoughts here. Um, so it's at 77% right now, as you can see. So it's pretty impressive battery life, um, and that's with you know some pretty moderate calling. I've been on the phone this morning and this afternoon. I've had some email, a bunch of emails actually, and I responded to some of those from the device to see how I could handle the keyboard. So it's been a pretty decent performer in the battery life department. Hopefully that'll continue. Uh, in the next 26 days. Hopefully I can get used to the size as well because I'm still not used to it. I mean, it's, you know, I had it in my jeans this weekend. I could, I could feel the device. And so when I'm sitting down, I'm feeling it pushing up against my hip. And so hopefully, you know, with, with time and with maybe getting some baggier jeans, but with time over the course of a week or two, I'll get used to the size. So that's really what I'm curious about. And also if I can get used to kind of the music ecosystem that comes from Google Music. Because I've always, you know, since Google Music's been out, I've been using it as kind of a secondary music choice when I'm working with Android devices or when I get bored and want to carry an Android device for three or six months. Um, or I shouldn't say three or six months, like a couple weeks. But uh, overall, I've been pretty impressed. And the screen is, uh, is really nice as well. So get, hopefully I'll get used to the size. Hopefully I'll get used to a different media ecosystem, perhaps some streaming music, and hopefully I'll have some more good conversations with people about the size of this device. This is day four, so stay tuned because there's more coverage coming on phonedog.com and on YouTube of my Samsung Galaxy Note challenge.